Right, so we're going to take a look at the ice cream production. This is by LSM Team Modding Team, 8.05 megabyte on the download. And the question I want to answer today is, is it worth it? So is it worth putting all your products into this production chain to sell this? Ice creams. So we've got strawberries and we've got chocolate version. Obviously, they're a thousand litres each pallet. Are they going to make a difference depending on what they sell for? Well, that's what we're here to look at. So, if we go into the production chain menu, so we've got under chocolate ice creams, you're going to need 30 milk, 25 chocolate, 15 sugar, 10 honey. And under the strawberries, you're going to need 30 milk, 25 strawberries, 15 sugar, and 10 honey, the same as before. So, obviously, the only thing that's different is chocolate and strawberries, 25 each. Fair enough. Now, on the capacity side, you're going to be able to put into this production chain 100,000 litres of milk, 50,000 litres of chocolate, 100,000 litres of sugar, 50,000 litres of honey, and 100,000 litres of strawberries. Fair enough. That's what you can put in. Now, where are you going to find this? You're going to get them in the construction menu and on the productions and factories. So we're going to scroll along to find it. There we are, ice cream production, 120 grand to place down, sort of in the style of the base game dairy, but obviously with a little ice cream on the end. And then obviously you're going to need somewhere to sell it, so we're going to come up to selling points. And um, we've got this one here, there you are, corner shop. Obviously sell your stuff, the drop off point is round the back, fair enough. So you've got your pallet spawn point is just there for the production chain. You've got the production chain menus there on the corner. And then your loading in point round the back. Right, all fairly simple. I, mean, I do like it. Seems got like ice cream pictures on the side. Oh, I do like that. Right, let's go to the slides to see actually whether this is worth doing it at all. Right, so first up is the part of the recipe that are both the same. So for the chocolate and the strawberry ice cream, they both need milk. They're both going to use the same amount, which is 429 litres. If you had to sell that off individually, you'd have made £1,002, Euros or dollars. Now, all these figures are based on easy mode on Elm Creek. Fair enough. We'll get that one out of the way straight away. So the next thing that they both need is sugar. They're both going to use 214 litres, and you'd have sold those off for both recipes, 343 each. Next one is honey, 143 litres you're going to require for both of these recipes. 488 if you'd have sold that off on its own. Now, this is where it gets a little different because they both take the same amount. So for the chocolate version, you're going to need 357 litres of chocolate. And for the strawberries, you're going to need 357 litres of strawberries. But the chocolate you'd have sold for 2,284. Whereas the strawberries you'd have sold for 304. That's a big difference, and that will play a part very shortly, because obviously the costs are the costs. So what are we talking about on the cost section? So you've got a total cost of, if you'd have sold everything else individually for the chocolate ice creams, of 4,117 per 1,000 litre pallet. Now for the strawberries, because obviously they're a lot less, you would have made... 2137 if you'd have sold off all the raw ingredients now this is where it comes back into it the chocolate over the strawberries if you'd have sold off the chocolate ice cream pallet of a thousand liters you would make 8913 if you'd have sold off the strawberry pallet you'd have sold that for 9243 yeah, that's a bit of a difference. So you'd have made a profit on the chocolate ice cream palette of 4,796, which is a 116.5% profit. That's all right. 116.5% extra. But the big one comes in is when you sell the strawberries. Because obviously 9,243, you would have made a profit of 7,106 per pallet which is an uplift of 332.5%. That, that is brilliant. That, that's got to be the winner for today. Obviously, it costs you less to put in. Even if you're going to buy the stuff from the shop, it still costs you way less. And you make 332% profit. Definitely, definitely for a win. This one is definitely a moneymaker. And before we finish off, there is a little asterisk now. 2,959 with a question mark. This is strange, because if you've got the Omatana farm production pack, 
one with all the barns where you can make popcorn and, and strawberry ice cream in particular, the price drops for sale of the strawberry ice cream pallet to 2,959. If you haven't got that one loaded into your game, we get the 9,243. So that's just something you need to be aware of because you could be watching this and you could have this in your game saying, I'm getting nowhere near nine grand for me uh, strawberry ice cream pallets. That's the reason why. When I first set this up, I had the Omatana farm pack in and it was like, yeah, that's really low. And then I reloaded the game and we took it off and we got the nine grand price tag. So there you are. If you're having that drop on the strawberry ice cream pallet, doesn't make a difference to the chocolate one, mind you. But if you're having that on the strawberry one, take that off your save game. Get a better price. Or you could just leave it on because obviously it costs you less to put the strawberries in anyway. So you might want to leave that as a nice little leveller shall we say entirely up to you anyway so there you have it ice cream factory definitely one for a money spinner very nice I, mean, I do like a nice bit of ice cream as well excellent right drop it in the comments below are you going to be putting this into your role play we'll see what people are looking at if you haven't already hit the subscribe button it's much appreciated but for me that's it for today and i'll see you in the next one